After everything I've been through, after everything I've done, after everything that led me here, this is where I've had enough. It all started to make sense now. How could I be this blind? How could I let this happen? Hello? Hello? There's a fucking infected out. What the fuck is everybody? Hello? Is anybody around here? <sighs> James! John! Better call us, better put this. John! This is some. This is everybody. Talk to you soon. Fuck. Sorry, just, just take it easy, come on. Like a tunnel vision or something. What the fuck is that? Yeah. I just said the uh, problem was dealt with, Bob. Just. Oh, look. What happened? Bob, you, uh. You got shot, bud. Yeah, I've, I've fucking noticed that. Yeah, we, uh, uh... We had to take the eye, so... There's that. Oh. Look, it's... The doctor tried to do everything he could, but... It, it just wasn't enough, alright? I promise, man, he tried. Oh, ain't gotta worry about it any longer. That guy. Mm -hmm. He sounded familiar. What did you do, Bob? What happened? You were on the radio with someone? Where's, where's Hank? Where's Weaver? They're all, uh, they're all backed up on, uh, one of those buildings over there. We're just discussing some things that went, went along and trying to get a search party up. If there's any more of them left. But so that's why there's not a lot of people around here? Did they had to yeah, evacuate them? Uh, yeah, I mean, they get pretty serious. I feel different. I should have died. A lot of people should have died, but here they are. Here you are. Guess it's just a miracle, you know? Uh, maybe. Alright. I gotta get out of here, James. I need to go back to Livonia. James. Yeah. Who was that guy? Who was what? You know, the head. 
Use them. Uh, just a nuisance that need to be taken care of. You see, yeah. Who's the one who shot you? doesn't expect you to. Yeah, gave me some antibiotics that you're gonna be need to be taken to prevent infection. Right. Just keep it clean. Change out the gauze and you should be good. What about you? What about you? It looks like you haven't been hit. <laughs> Tough son of a son of a bitch. Yes, yeah, so I was just lucky that time. I'm good to go. We gotta get out of here. I'm staying here. Bag your stuff and we'll talk to the dog. Alright, I'll be there in a minute. That guy that shot me, he seemed to know us. I can see that. He especially knew me. But how? We need to go back to Oceanville. Wow. I, I don't care what you say, James, but I'm gonna find those assholes. That's like you're playing to me. Alright, I'm gonna get some firewood. I got some meat to cook up. I was definitely lost with what I was about to do. I just couldn't believe that my own brother would do this. James had to have been with them somehow. Otherwise, how were the situation connected? Being manipulated by your own brother, by the people that you trust, and get separated from the people that you love. The apocalypse is changing me and I'm becoming different by the day. It all started to come back to me after losing an eye and a fracture of memory loss. It all started to fucking make sense now. There was no signs of James. What a coincidence. Trying to set up a trap that he saw coming. I mean, what did I expect from someone like him? I guess after all I owe him for saving my life. James is definitely a part of something here and I know it. Which means he must have known the people that took us. That took me from Cat. Shit. Fuck. What's going on? Whoever it was that wanted him dead seems to have taken him. But why not me? Well, that's something I needed to find out. Anybody home? Hello? Knock, knock. Luke? It's Weaver. Oh, shit. Hank must have been concerned that I wasn't answering my radio. So he sent up his guys to check on me. Still no sign of James. We'll wait here at the clubhouse for the other one. I was waiting with the others until Hank arrived. Seemed like he had issues of his own. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Yep, that's him. Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, what's up? You came by I'm the motherfucker's still alive. 
Luke's here. Hey. Alright, okay. okay. So well, um... I'll be with you uh, momentarily. Just got a little thing yeah, to deal right. with. Then we can talk. What's up? Uh... Hey, how you doing, Ren? <sighs> Can't complain. How about yourself? Yeah, I've been better. Did you ever uh, find uh, your... Was, he, was it your brother? Or your friend? Uh, yeah, friend. Nah. Friend. Said no one to be seen. Really? Hey, uh, can you take a look into the uh, warehouse, please? Not warehouse, the clubhouse, sorry. Okay. We'll be just a minute. As we we're all still waiting for Hank, I was thinking about the life. We had before the outbreak. You always said we were the good ones. I mean, just sitting there and watching people fool around. Wow. I haven't experienced that in a very long time. And it felt nice. And then I started to realize that this is what makes you weak. Hey Luke, sorry okay. about that. That's all good, Hank. How you doing? Alright, I'm pretty good. One second. Alright, you lot fucking clear off. Um, I don't know anything about Iris, so I'm not gonna comment on that. Um, but I have some facts to bring up. Somebody that has been on this island for a very long time, and has known Luella for a, quite a long time, has come forward and has claimed that Luella is a closet cannibal and has been a cannibal for quite some time and she was a cannibal with somebody that she called Master and her brother Albert but that's uh, that's pretty much everything I brought Luke here because I know he's been questioning the cannibals I just wanted you to know that you shouldn't go anywhere near somebody called Luella Copy. It would seem that their situation might have been connected to mine. I was running out of time and needed to go back down south to Oceanville. I had to find those doctors. I just had to. I mean, getting ahead, getting these notes, I mean, it all adds up. That's what I get for asking too many questions. I should have been smart about this. Look, look, look. Don't look. Don't look on the past. You can't dwell on that bullshit. He's gonna be alive. They won't kill him. There's a reason that they took him and left you. That's because they need something. Once they start getting desperate, that's when we can gather more information. But for now, you need to just try and relax. I want to find them just as badly as you, because if that's the same people that did that to us in Oceanville, then I want to fucking cut the legs off. So that they never do this to anybody else. Hank offered a place for me to stay, since it wasn't safe up there anymore. His team went up to gather some of my things, and while they were doing that, I was trying to head out to Oceanville. But Hank stopped me and tried talking me out of it, and said I need a rest. But he knew I wasn't gonna stop, so he went with me. What good is it to hide and run anymore? I had already run out of patient at this point. I've got a question for you. What 
isn't. Do you have the stomach for violence? And when I say violence, I don't mean just shooting someone. Because when I get a hold of these cannibals that did this, well, possibly did this to us, I'm gonna be fucking brutal. Well, that's the thing, right? The apocalypse forces you to do things you don't want to, whether you like it or not. Well, you know, we've been teaching people lessons since before the apocalypse had happened. You have to put people in line and have to do some fucking nasty shit to do that. On our way up to Oceanville, we stumble across a very weird individual, asking for our names, but refuse to give his. Alright, well what kind of fucking logic is that? You ask us our names and then you don't give us yours. Fine. Where did you come from? Something important is happening and I need to go. Oh, very important. important. So, so why'd you ask? I'm not sure, I have no need for your name. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're busy then, fuck off. What the fuck was that? Who the fuck Don't was know. he? I have no idea. Fucking weird bastard. With him going the same way we were heading, I wasn't gonna go around or hide anymore. I was staying on the road as planned. Then we met another strange doctor who wasn't anyone we were looking for, but he was trying to collect blood. What are you, some kind of doctor? Uh, no, 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 it's just in case I need them. Where are you two heading? Um, Oceanville. Did you come from um, the Wolfpack area? Yes, yes, I just went through there. I didn't see anyone on my way through, but uh, there's quite a few infected around, definitely. I live nearby, so it's not too far, but uh, I know okay. the further you head down south, the more dangerous it gets, so. Let's go. Be on my way. Take yeah, care. Stay safe. There's a guy um, running on the right. They might recognize you, yeah. Holy shit. What the fuck? Is that what I think it is? Got a few bits of uh, gravel and dirt. Seeing meat next to clothes and all that makes me only think one mm. thing. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jump. <laughs> Oh, you were hiding there. Huh? Oh, sneaky bastard. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Oh shit. What? I just, I just realized something. It's coming back to me. What? That guy, he... He mentioned... He's, you know... He said my name. Your name? He yeah, knew you? Yeah, I, I... I guess? Then he also mentioned my, my wife's name. Wait a second. So he was there for you. Oh shit. It's coming back to me. Can't? But he... Shit. He was saying something about Cat being... That Cat was not gonna be happy about this or anything like that. The fuck? I'm, I'm sorry, but that's no fucking coincidence, alright? Back, back in Livonia, this, this group, the Russians, they came, they were working with some scientists. I don't know what they were doing, maybe guarding them or something like that. And this particular guy, you know, we set up an ambush and we killed him. James confirmed mm. that. He, he killed can't, him. You can't, you can't have killed him if he was still fucking walking right there. With us. This gun, Hank, this gun right here 
straight to the skull. That's what happened. Once we are done here and everything, um, it's gonna be a goodbye, you know? I get that, you know. Your lover's on the other side of the fucking world. The only chance that you've got seeing him again is, uh, is finding a boat or, or a helicopter of some sort and getting the mm -hmm. fuck off of this island, so. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. And there he was again. The same doctor we'd previously met on the road. He had been following us. The guy who's collecting blood. <laughs> what are you sneaking uh, for? What are you following us for? Um... Well... I'll, uh, I'll come on down. It's, uh... Yeah, been come the fuck out. Well, uh... Truth be told, I, uh... I've been following you. To be frank, yeah. frankly, to be honest with you. Yeah, it would seem that... No I'm, fucking there's shit. There's no point lying about that. I've got a complicated situation, you see. I've, uh... I was hoping to catch one of you on your own, but it uh, appears you stick quite close together. Um, oh, really? So what were you trying to do? Yes. Well, uh, you see, it's um, it's quite a private matter. I'd rather go somewhere a little bit more more private to uh, talk further with you two, but uh, rather than out on the road. Yeah, well, look where we're at. This is as private as it gets. Start fucking talking, otherwise I'm gonna take those glasses off of you and stab this fucking stick into okay. your eyes. Okay, okay. Alright, talk. Okay. Well, uh, I was, uh, unfortunately, I was captured a, a few days, well, months ago, and I was uh, released a few days ago. Um, and unfortunately, whilst I was, whilst I was captured, they, uh, they, the only thing I was given to eat was human meat and diluted fuck? blood to drink. It's human meat, but wait, from was either eat that or from from who? Where? I don't know. They, when they captured me, they put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. And from, we walked for miles before I was put inside the, uh, or the cage, essentially, or their prison. Hold on, and, uh, hold on. Which was either eat the food. Well, you said before something about blood. You were collecting blood. Why? Well, uh, well the, see, the human meat was revolting. I had to eat it to survive. It was the only way, but you see, when they're approaching two people, it's uh, a little bit more complicated than that. It's Well, it's not going to be that complicated, it's because we're not giving shit. We can tell you that. I mean, I... I've got the... Uh, it's relatively safe, I can promise you that. I've got uh, Definitely not. I Definitely say. fucking not. Trust me, I'm not fucking scared of HIV from a needle, alright? You ain't fucking drinking me dry. You understand? This is a way that can get fucking a bit complicated. I think we need to take a look at what you got. I'm curious what type of... Oh. the shit this I guy has this. is on, Hank. I'd happily drop my bag, but I can assure you there's... ...nothing of value in it, or... Well, we'll be the judges. We don't care about the value that. of the items in your bag, we're looking for other things. See, these cannibals that you were talking about that took you captive or whatever, fed, whoever fed you... Uh, yeah. ...humans. Yes. Do you know anything yes, about them? Nothing in your bag. Um, fortunately not, uh... No, I got one more thing, one more thing to check. You just want to stand still, alright? Of Hang, just make sure he doesn't do anything. Yeah, don't even fucking try it. Let's see what type of fucking shit this guy has. It's like I said, the uh, the meat is revolting. I can't stand it. Oh, look at that. I never have to smell that foul smell again. Fuck. He's clean. You're going to at least untie me, or...? No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Let him do it on his own, because we're heading no. this way. You better not follow all right. us, alright? Uh, I'd right. advise... Going back up the hill, the way you came from, so they don't rub yep. you. Right. Now fuck off. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's 
quite a few people on there, right? Yeah. We finally arrived in Oceanville. The night was long, oh, hey. and instead of going around and asking questions, I started to listen to people's conversation instead. I might know oh, something. They're, they're talking about two of those German scientists. You met those guys? Yeah, they've injected me before. Those fucking they took my blood, I guess. They're using dirty needles. Yeah, those guys are fucking weird. Wait, I'll wait. I'll come up close to you, like. What, wait, what, what did you say? Huh? You, you say they injected you? The Germans? Yeah. Well, not injected. They uh, tested my blood, so they said, but uh, it made me sick. Yeah, they like doing that. I heard. I heard and that there he was, the guy that we met earlier. Seems like he was a part of some kind of faction that was getting wiped out. That's him. Are they guy familiar? Yeah. I am here for peace. Nothing more. Hey, what's up with your friend? There? Why is he whispering? Oh, I'm having some headaches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you so a crow? So we have a crow here. So there's a crow here. So you're a yep. crow. I'm not he a is, crow. and and right now he's under my protection. So you guys be wise. We're here that the mm, yeah. the uh, the doctors have moved out. The ones who we were looking for. Because we yeah, didn't get there in I'm time. Steady on the chase. Why are you looking for these doctors? Bikers. Well, it's, um, Which doctors more do you speak of? Interest. Well, there was two doctors that lived I'm here in back. Oceanville. I've met them. I have done much business with them lately. The okay, so these two German doctors, I believe. Do you wanna? Do you wanna share their location? I don't know. I'm not sure they'd. Uh... Uh, give him by giving your story. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I can deal with them for you. What are you wanting from me? No, I just personal interest a few questions that we wanted to ask them. Finally, someone that knew where they were, but wouldn't share where exactly. And I couldn't do anything with the amount of people in this area. And if you need to relay a message to the doctors, feel free. I can parlay for them. By the way, those doctors you're talking about, Recently, I've seen them carry a lot more military gear than medical equipment. So be on watch out. Yeah, tell them to come to Oceanville and stop hiding. My uh, heavy out here. I wanted to break the guy's legs so bad, but I knew the situation was just gonna get worse. And so we left. And so then me and Hank stayed at the hotel that Bunny helped us set up. And then the next day, after heading up from Oceanville to Sanctuary, some more letters was waiting for me. And just as I thought, James was captured. But then who could have taken him? And why are the letters here with me? Whoever is in Sanctuary knows something I don't. Weaver then came to me talking about the incident that happened the other day, about some kind of fight that happened with the new order. There's no way. There's no fucking way Cat is here. Uh, weren't you interested in those two fellers? The, the Rangers and the Sheriff had to split up from the new order or whatever? This has to be some kind of trick for them to find us. I never was prepared for this shit. I never got to finish my police training or anything like that. But now I am prepared, and I see things much clearer. Hello? Look at that. James? J James? J John, is that you? Where the fuck are you? Look, I know you probably have questions, but we gotta talk. I need you to meet me. At dawn? What the f- That's it? I've known you since Livonia. And being in a place like this, and you just suddenly disappear? What the fuck is going on? You know what? It all started to make sense. You're part of this, aren't you? I... Fuck. Listen, it's not what you think it is exactly, alright? Look, I've protected you and your family since we first met. I don't ask for much, I just need your help now. Please, just one time. I'm starting to think you got a whole lot of story going on with you, James. Because you 
weren't protecting me. You were protecting yourself. Bob, I... I... Oh, fuck. Bob Taylor. I will simplify this for you. Show up at dawn, or James and everyone you hold dear will perish. My patience is running thin. I will send him to you piece by piece if I must. What the... God, who the fuck is this? You will find out soon enough. If I were you, Bob Taylor, I would choose my next words carefully. You think, sh you think shooting a traitor is gonna make me want to comply? Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> traitor indeed. Deserter to me. I will deal with James, Cat, and the New Order. You all will pay for your transgressions. You might consider this ship incident and the Russians a failure to deliver. But look what it has delivered unto me. You, on my doorstep, test me again, Bob Taylor, and you will see the scorn of my wrath. You are no longer in your pathetic sanctuary. I guess I might have been wrong after all. If James was captured, he must have been forced into this. All those people on the boat. Fuck. I guess James tried to escape after all. If he were with them on the ship, and he killed them, he wanted to get away from it. Alright, I better get going. Alright asshole, put that fucking weapon down right now. Oh you're fucking dead. Drop fucking the other right. rifle as well. I got those fucking hands up. Alright. The boss wants to talk to you. So you're gonna hop your pretty little feet over that fence and march down to the rock. Pretty little feet, huh? Oh yeah. Better not keep the boss waiting. James? James? Now you stand bound. James? Keep uh, moving. Right on time. You wanna walk? Go on, move. All right, let's see. What <laughs> uh, looks like A found a new friend. Fucking, give me a reason, dickhead. Where did you find this one scrounging around? Oh, just up by the house. You wanted to meet. Uh... Here I am. Yes, a pleasure. It is all mine, I assure you. Yeah? 
Now what the fuck is going on? No, let's hope we don't try and go for that sidearm of yours. Yes, we wouldn't want you to make any more stupid decisions. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Ah, uh, I am the one asking the question. Who is the new order? The new order. What? What is this? Some kind of fucking joke? The new order is not here. It doesn't exist. You are elusive, man, Bob Taylor. I attempted to capture you once in Livonia with the Russians, yet they proved to be incapable of following simple instruction. <laughs> Fucking Russians. Yeah, well, they got what, what they deserved. <sighs> you didn't get permission to fucking shiver, did you? You know what? You, you shut the fuck up, alright? I don't take shit from you, or any of you, alright? I'm sorry, but he's the one with the guns here. Give him a whack. Let's give our friend a uh, whack. Uh, uh, fuck. Whack. Clean him up. T. I do not need my up. gear stained with blood. You may have survived the Russians. And this failure's ship incident. See, the reason why he is bound and gagged is he failed me. More than he has failed you, Bob. I know. I know what Bob. he has done. And he must pay for what he has done. No matter the reasons. Ah, yes, indeed he will. You're the one I'm looking for the most. You're the one I'm gonna kill. Perhaps, but today is not my day, Bob Taylor. And perhaps you mind your tongue, or you will see pieces of your loved one. Your dearest cat. <laughs> you know, people are trying to get into my head and you guys won't succeed today. Ah, uh, you think I am a jester, do you? Let your eyes be your guide and look for yourself. Across the water. What? What the fuck? Anyone familiar? <laughs> Motherfucker. You fucking better get Bound him up Then tie him up I don't think he'll uh, I don't think he'll try that again Are you still bleeding? Just tie him up After everything you've done, after everything that has, after everything that's happened, I'm gonna kill you last, uh. and then you know what pain feels like. Yeah, oh, Bob Taylor, you are not the first man to utter those words. We will see if you are successful or not. Time will tell. Oh, but perhaps, again, you should mind your tongue, or you will see pieces of your beloved delivered to you, one by one. Don't you fucking touch her, you hear me? You don't fucking touch her. I am a man of my word, Bob Taylor. Unlike some you have met, she will not be harmed as long as you cooperate. There are things that I want that you can help me achieve. Never. And I need your assistance. Fuck. I will test your resolve in metal. 
people, and truly see if you love this one you call Cat. Perhaps you would like to see her dead. Don't you... Fuck. You. I will never join you. And if you go again, cat down there, she'll kill all of you. First, mm, too confident in their ability. How do you think we are here undetected? Did my tendrils run deep through the island? You and no one else will be able to stop us. Have you calmed down from your rage? Are you able to stand or need? You guys fucking shot my leg. You, you've lost more than that. I won't join shit. Mm, it seems your personal preferences outweigh your love for cat. Collective, it is time to carry out Operation Delta Zero, since Bob decides not to be amenable to our desire. Just carry out these command Touch her. Nobody fucking touch her. Fuck. All right, all right, all right. I'll join you. <laughs> but under one condition. You don't fucking touch her. You leave them be. I will provide a counteroffer. I will not harm her in any capacity so long as you do not provide me trouble and do as you're told. All right. Yes. Your but first test. Struggle out of your restraints. A collective is used to being restrained against his will. He must be able to... ...free himself at any time. This is my fucking first time being tied up. And then indeed won't be your last. Embrace it. For the struggle makes you stronger. Ah, good. Well done. Rise, Bob Taylor. Unholster your weapon. My weapon. Yes. A and Tiva shoot this man should he not follow my command. Man, unholster your pistol. Execute this man now. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. You it's can either him or you asshole. Ow. This man has a failure to me and the collective, and now to you. Ooh, his punishment is clear and defined in our co code of law. Ah, you will carry out his sentence to prove your worthiness to the collective and don your armband. He can, f he can keep him alive. You can punish him that way. He doesn't need to die. This is not yeah, your decision. Else is a waste of time. I know what I did, Bob. I deserve this. Just fucking do it. James. And I'm just tired. I just want this to end. No more hesitation. The collective does not hesitate. Five, four, three, two, oh, fuck. one. Fuck.
We all must make sacrifices in life, Bob Taylor, for the things that we want and desire for this world. Let this one not be in vain. You are now one of us. Come, let us leave this place.